We start with an arrest that has been made in the murder of Baltimore Safe Street's leader, Dante Barksdale. Repeat offender, 28-year-old Garrick Powell, has now been charged. All right, let's go live right now. We're outside police headquarters. Here's Abby Isaacs, and Abby spoke with people very close to Dante. And Abby, what could they possibly tell you about this arrest today? And can they fill in any blanks? Well, police didn't have a lot of information to give us today, but from family, friends and colleagues, it's really a mix of emotions. The announcement of the arrest today pain in the reminder that Dante Barksdale is gone. Relief that an arrest has been made and determination to bring justice for him. It knocked the wind out of me. I have to honestly say it really did. After over four months of waiting, tears of relief and pain, as violence activist Dante Barksdale's suspected killer was arrested. You know that feeling when you have a scrape on your leg and it's just starting to get that light film of new skin over it and then you fall again and the skin gets ripped off? That's the feeling. Known lovingly as Tater, he turned his life around from one of crime to passionate leadership with Safe Streets Baltimore to eradicate the harsh legacy of violence in the city. He was murdered on January 17th, shot in the head outside Douglas Holmes housing project. This brother became a victim of the very gun violence that he was determined to prevent and that he did prevent uh, thousands of times. Baltimore police say 27 year old Garrick Powell was arrested for his murder this morning in Baltimore. He has a lengthy record across multiple jurisdictions, including a prior homicide charge in 2012. So he's no stranger to the BPD. Mayor Brandon Scott says this case underscores the need for better coordination with area jurisdictions to keep repeat offenders off the streets. We cannot consistently have folks who clearly uh, should not have been out on the streets, out on the streets anywhere, whether it was arrest in Baltimore City, Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County. We have to make sure that the systems are talking so that uh, families aren't going through this. Detectives say this does not appear to be a random shooting. They're still investigating a motive and if there's any possible relationship between the two men. For now, live in Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.